I start out by putting this Shine Serum by Kerastas into my hair and I work it starting from my ends, working it up, but you don't really need to put it on your roots because it'll make it oily. You just need it on your ends and what that does is it helps me to like brush out the tangles except I'm going to be brushing it out with my hands and not with a brush because it works out better for my hair that way. After you finger brush your hair, take make sure you have some ponytail holders. Now I'm going to start off at the top. Then I'm going to add hair in from the sides on top of the piece that I just had. Now I'm going to add another piece to the top again and then pull. I give it a few braids and then I grasp some more hair from the side and join it to the top. Pull the one from underneath. Get a so I keep taking hair sections and bringing it to the center. I make sure to pull the piece underneath so it's tight. And then I just keep taking the sections and bringing them to the center. Adding them to the former piece, tightening from the bottom. and so forth. When you come to the bottom, you kind of have to bend your head down so that the braid is closer to your scalp. Then you can bring it to the side and just keep braiding it and you can put a little rubber band if you like. And then of course I like to just mess it up because I don't really like braids tight on my head because I get headaches. But if you like to wear it tight on your head you can or you can just loosen them up a little bit. So here's your basic French braid. It's pretty for when you don't want to do your hair. You can just put it in a braid and let it go. So now I'm going to take it out and I'll show you a braid on the side of my head. And something called a fishtail braid. Take your hair, it wants to fall. Part it in two in the back. It doesn't have to be a just like so. And then you're gonna just start here and just twist the pieces together. Like I said, I don't mind if my hair is not perfect. Doesn't really matter. And then when I get to here,
-hmm. right here. I'm going to stop and section it into two pieces. And then I'm going to take a section over here, put it over here, section over here, put it over here. This is called a fishtail braid, and you can see why. Because it looks like a cute little fish. So as long as you just keep the sections two into two, and then just keep taking sections from the far right. Bringing it over. You get a really neat little fish tail braid. So now I'm just going to keep going on this fish tail braid. Go ahead and stop right here. So you see that little fish tail braid? It's cute. And now I'm gonna do this side. So you just take this. We'll go ahead and French braid this. And just bring them in. Notice that I'm really only taking sections from the hairline, not from the other side. Because I don't want to keep adding hair to it, I just want to make it a French braid. So I'm going to take a little bit deeper. That over there. That over there. That over there. That over there. A section of over here. Bring it over here. A section over there. Bring it over there. A section from here. Bring it over there. In there, bring it over there. Suction there. So it doesn't matter if it's a little messy because I like it messy. This ponytail will have to do. And then you can take it and open it up again. Kind of mess it up. So then you're just left with two really cute fishtail braids and just a really simple braid that leads to those little fishtail braids and the back is just the back and it's a really cute look and people will definitely ask you how you did that because a lot of people don't know and it's like the simplest thing to do so I hope you like it and I hope this helped thank you and have a good day